Tonight is hoping police can figure out who is behind the murder of a UMKC college student. Well, the 25-year-old was murdered outside of McDonald's early Tuesday morning. Christina Medina talked to his family today. Christina? Yes, Mark and Elizabeth. His family tells me that they miss him terribly and they hope someone will come forward soon to help police solve this crime. As you can see, he's a big guy. I mean, he's a happy guy. Mm -hmm. You never have anything to worry about. As he's looking at pictures, Tofik Oladipu is talking about his older brother, Wasu. In this, in this crazy world, someone just took him over like that. You know, it's, it's really bad. It's really bad. The 25-year-old UMKC student has only been living in Kansas City for five years. His family moved from Nigeria. But early Tuesday morning outside this McDonald's on Troost in 64th Street, he was murdered. Police are still not releasing a lot of information as they continue to investigate. At this point, they haven't even said how he was killed. It is a very peaceful man. Anything you ask him, he will do it. He will, he will do whatever he can to help anybody. So this is just unsensible. The college student was also a Jackson County Corrections officer, and he was supposed to get married in April to his fiance, who still lives in Nigeria. As his brother talked to us today, he was wearing Wasu's T-shirt. If I couldn't be able to see him anymore, wearing his shirt is going to be like he's still here with me. While they struggle with their loss, they're asking for help. People, please, like I said, if you know anything, if you heard anything, if you see anything, if you know somebody who heard us anything, just let us have peace with this. If nothing else, let us have peace. So they can focus on remembering Wasu's memory and not on why he was killed. We did get a statement from UMKC today. They say that we are saddened by the death of one of our students. Whenever a tragedy happens, it affects the entire UMKC community. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family. Now, if you know anything about the case, call the TIPS hotline number. You can remain anonymous. That number is 816-474-TIPS. I'm Christina Medina for NBC Action News.